how's your training camp coming along? Uh, this is a great training camp. Probably one of the best training camps I've ever had. Um, I've moved around a lot, traveled to different gyms, been training with a lot of yeah. high level guys that the Ontario has to offer. It's like some of the best in my weight class, even in the country. So I'm just getting a lot more work than I've ever been able to get in before. I'm just excited to really be able to train again. Uh, the world hasn't seen me. They've, they've seen me fight in the UFC twice, but they haven't seen me fight in the UFC twice. Uh, a lot of people don't know about that, the surgery that I had and what I was fighting with. I, fought, I got my phone call at the UFC with a torn, torn labrum, torn rotator, two torn rotator cuffs actually, torn super spinatus and torn inverse spinatus. And I fought both my fights basically with one arm. Um, during the fight, a lot of people, you can't tell, and I couldn't tell because adrenaline's going, I didn't feel it, but during training camps, they didn't exist. They basically jogged. I jogged, I jogged, <laughs> I jogged. And that was basically my training camp. I couldn't hardly grapple, I, I couldn't spar. I, I hit pads once a week. And that was basically how I prepared for the UFC. You know, I'm fighting the best fighters in the world um, without a training camp because I, I couldn't do it. You know, when you fight for eight years to get someplace and you get the opportunity, you don't, you don't say no. Um, call me back later after my surgery. This is the opportunity when you get there. So, you know, I just had to do it and I did it. And, once I got established, I took the time off and I needed to get healed. And now that I'm healed, I'm just excited to go in there and fight as myself with two arms. So <laughs> I'm pretty excited. That's awesome. Um, well, what are your thoughts on uh, fighting in, in Toronto, you know, home crowd and everything? Here in uh, I'm, ec I'm ecstatic to be fighting in Toronto. Um, they actually called me right around the time of the Winnipeg event to see if I was ready to come back. And you know, I was just getting back into training at that time. I, I could have pushed it. Or I could have took an event before that, in between that. But I opted to wait just to guarantee I got in the Toronto card because, you know, I want to be at home. I want to be with the hometown crowd. I want to have my family be able to come. You know, my last fight was in Calgary. Fight before that was in Atlanta. And, you know, I come from a small town with a poor family. We can't afford to you know, fly everybody, you know, $600 plane tickets across the country. Now everybody can drive two or three hours and, you know, see it live and, uh, and enjoy, the, you know, the atmosphere of the UFC and, enjoy seeing me in it, so I'm just excited to share that with my friends and families. That's awesome. Uh, now for a quick round, uh, anything that pops into your mind, uh, just, uh, just let us know. Uh, what's your favorite junk food? Pizza. Uh, in your eyes, who's your most favorite, most notable win, if you had to just pick one? Um, John Goulet. Um, if you had a dream match, who would it be, and it doesn't have to be with a fighter? Either. No, my, my dream fighter would be against Chris Lytle. I think it could be an exciting fight. Um, uh, what's your favorite stand-up technique if you had to choose one? Uh, over and right. Your biggest strength? Um, creativity. Your biggest weakness? Mm, over aggressive. Um, uh, what's your favorite thing to do with friends and family? Golf. Uh, what's one of your favorite movies of all time? Mm, that's a tough one. Um, Probably land before time. Nice. <laughs> uh, can you tell us something that not uh, most people don't know about yourself? Hmm. Probably how old I am. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, if not for MMA, what profession would you be in? Um, that's a tough one too. I always wanted to be a marine biologist. Nice. Nice. It's like working like sea animals and stuff like that, but at the same time, I'm petrified to go in the water. So I'm sick of my getting by a shark. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Uh, anything you'd like to add or have portrayed to your fans? Ah, uh, you know, I just want them to enjoy watching me fight. You know, I fight, I fight for the fans, and I always put on an exciting fight. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time, Chris. Anytime.